Keshwanand Bharti Shripad Galwaru was the state of Kerala 1973 whether the Indian parliament has the power to amend the fundamental rights while the parliament has wide powers does it have the power to destroy or emasculate the basic elements or fundamental features of the constitution what is the limit of judicial review Keshwanand Bharti case deduced the doctrine of basic structure it was held that the laws enacted to give effect to the directive principle of state policy under part 4 are open to judicial review the laws included in the ninth schedule can be challenged in the court of law on the grounds that they abrogate the basic elements of the constitutional structure the judgment was quoted again and again by the supreme court in various judgments like in the three judges case Kerala Land Reforms Act of 1963 was enacted to fulfill the socio-economic obligation of the state government of Kerala. Under this act, the state government acquired land belonging to the Idnir Mat in the Kasaragod district of Kerala. Challenging this land acquisition, His Holiness Keshwanand Bharti, the head of Idnir Mat, filed a writ petition under article 32 for the enforcement of rights under article 25 that is right to practice and propagate religion article 26 that is right to manage religious affairs article 14 right to equality article 19 clause 1 sub clause f which is freedom to acquire property and article 31 that is compulsory acquisition of property The Constitution 29th Amendment Act of 1972 placed the Kerala Lands Reform Act 1963 in the ninth schedule of the constitution. So the petitioners in the case challenged the constitutional validity of the 24th, 25th and 29th Amendment Acts. The petitioners in the argument contended that the power of the parliament to amend the constitution is limited and restrictive. According to the petitioners this freedom has been taken away by the article 31c which has been inserted by the 25th amendment the argument for restricted power to the parliament was also based on the basic features principle propounded by justice madhulkar in his dissenting judgment in sajjan singh case of 1964 They pleaded for the protection of their fundamental right to property under Article 19, Clause 1, Sub Clause F, that was violated by the enactment of the 24th and 25th Constitutional Amendments. On the other hand, the State of Kerala argued that the power of the Parliament to amend the Constitution is absolute and unlimited. In order to fulfill the socio-economic obligations guaranteed to the citizens in preamble, there should be no restriction on the power of the parliament to amend the constitution. The structure of the constitution has been erected on the concept of egalitarian society. The respondents went on to claim that parliament can abrogate fundamental rights such as freedom of speech and expression, freedom to form associations or unions, and freedom of religion. the democracy can never be replaced and one party rule established the supreme court by a 7 is to 6 majority held that the parliament in the exercise of constituent power can amend any provision of the constitution the court gave the following reasons first the power to amend the constitution is located in article 368 second neither the constitution nor an amendment of the constitution can be or is law within the meaning of article 13 the constitution is the supreme law third an amendment of the constitution is an exercise of the constituent power the power to amend is wide and unlimited the supreme court also observed that the indian constitution is first and foremost a social document the majority of its provisions are directly aimed at furthering the goals of social revolution The core of the commitment to the social revolution lies in parts 3 and 4 in the fundamental rights and the directive principles of state policy. Therefore, to implement the duties imposed on the states under part 4, it may be necessary to abridge in certain respects the right conferred on the citizens or individuals under part 3. So the court held the 24th amendment to the constitution as valid. On the question to which extent the constitution can be amended the court reduced the doctrine of basic structure 
the laws enacted to give effect to the directive principles of state policy under part 4 are open to judicial review in other words the laws included in the ninth schedule can be challenged in the court of law on the grounds that they abrogate the basic elements of the constitutional structure Keshwanand Bharti case overruled Golaknath case with regard to the power to amend the constitution all the amendments to the constitution were subjected to the test of the basic structure doctrine it reflected the judicial creativity of a very high order